she just had a bite of a peanut butter sandwich that she'd never had before and her top lip swole up quite badly and we went to the GP and he said yes she's got a peanut allergy. You do think ahead how's it going to be when there are kids that are you know in the playground sharing their food and so on. It's a scary thing. Basically everywhere you socialise was a risk. We are very excited by our positive results. Just over 80% of children who received the probiotic peanut therapy tolerated peanut compared with 4% of children who received placebo. Being tolerant now is so much easier. But I don't worry about it now at all. and I know nothing's going to happen. So yeah, it's very relaxing now to be able to send her off with other people. The concept of combining a probiotic adjuvant to boost the immune response towards tolerance is an approach that can be applied to other food allergies as well. What we now understand is that the bugs that we carry in our gut play an absolutely critical role in programming the immune response towards a healthy state and determines the risk for chronic illness in later life that includes allergic disease, but also other chronic disorders such as cardiovascular disease, diabetes, obesity, and so on. It is still too early to offer this treatment to patients in the clinic. We must run follow-up trials involving larger numbers of patients in order to confirm that the treatment works and also to optimise the treatment so we can feasibly deliver it in the clinical setting. I didn't realise what it would be like to then be able to feel so relieved um, and relaxed about um, you know, her now building up this tolerance and um, yeah, being able to, to be able to do everything that everyone else does. It will change the lives completely for children and adults who have peanut allergy and their families. So I think it's a major advance for medical science if we can find a treatment that's curative for children with peanut allergy but also other food allergies.